Failure seen properly is just a recognition of fast learning. So I have um, training wheels which I try to put on this concept within X to try to help everyone get comfortable with the idea. Here's an example. You're working on a project. It either has an Achilles heel or it doesn't. Would we like to discover that Achilles heel if it exists now or later? If you say later, you've just signed up to be intellectually dishonest. You're not really going to sign up for that. As soon as you acknowledge that should it have an Achilles heel, we'd like to know about that now rather than later, then it becomes the right way for us to behave to check to see if it has an Achilles heel now, right now. If it has the Achilles heel, we'll end the project and we'll go find something better to do. And if it doesn't have an Achilles heel, we can move forward with that increased level of excitement and certainty that we're on the right track. Let's pretend that you are setting out to make a time machine at X. And you have two choices. One, to cause a, a pebble or a mouse to move backwards one minute in time to actually cause some small amount of time travel, or to design the user interface for the cockpit of the time machine. I think we could all agree in this particular example that working on the user interface for the cockpit, once you get it done, it will look like you've made progress, but you haven't, you've made motion. We can all sit there, look at your cockpit and say, the chances that we succeed are exactly the same as they were before. We've not actually made any progress because all of the risk was on the part you chose not to do. What you should have done first was the other one. So the way that our shorthand for this at X is uh, we, we joke hashtag monkey first, similar to the time machine. If you're trying to get a monkey to stand on a pedestal 10 feet high and recite Shakespeare monologues, and you have a choice between training the monkey first and building the pedestal. If you build the pedestal first, when your boss walks by, he's like, hey, nice pedestal. And then you feel good. You just did something useful. You just got a little bit of, you know, attaboy. That's why people do that. But you've utterly wasted your company's money if you build the pedestal first. Because all of the hard part is getting the monkey to recite Shakespeare. If you can get the monkey to recite Shakespeare, we can always build the pedestal afterwards. But if you can't, thank goodness we didn't spend a moment or a penny building what turned out it to be a useless pedestal. Now, in order to get a culture at X to do that, we need to reward people when they do it. So when someone raises their hand and says, my project looks really good, but I've discovered I don't think it's going to work out because of this subtle but important uh, issue. And those 10 people now need to find new jobs. If we say, oh, sucks to be you, no one at X will ever again raise their hand and say that. But if we say to them, hey, that was awesome. What incredible intellectual honesty you just displayed. And good uh, critical thinking to have discovered this. We're going to work super hard to find all of you new jobs somewhere at X or at Alphabet. We're going to give you all bonuses for having ended your project so thoughtfully. Take long vacations and then when you're done, come back and join another project here and get going again with extra levels of passion because you're now working on something that you don't secretly know is going to fail at some point in the future, which is how you would have felt if you had stuck on your old project. People are sad when they have to end their projects. They don't end their projects lightly, but because they've come to understand that ending their project is just being intellectually honest. It's driving for high efficiency, which is why we use the word factory and tie it to moonshots because we're trying to systematize innovation. We're trying to drive to high efficiency innovation. And that can best be done by being honest when you're on the wrong track. And that is failing fast.